ஹாய் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் எ நியூ சாப்டர் சாப்டர் டுவெல் அரேசன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் ரிகார்டிங் அரே சி பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த கான்செப்ட் அரே வி வாண்ட் டு நோ வை த கான்செப்ட் அரே வாஸ் இவால்வ்டு ஒரே வை த அரே கான்செப்ட் வாஸ் இவால்வ்டு ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வி வாண்ட் டு நோ வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை அரே வை இட் வாஸ் இவால்வ்டு தென் ஓன்லி வி கேன் டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் ஆர் த டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் அரே லைக் தட் ஸோ சி இயர் வி ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்டடிட் தட் வேரியபிள்ஸ் ஆர் யூஸ்டு டு ஸ்டோர் த டேட்டா வேரியபிள்ஸ் ஆர் யூஸ்டு டு ஸ்டோர் த டேட்டா and then the way these variables are one of the basic building blocks in c++ so the variables are used to store data means the value will be stored only in the variable the value will be stored only in the variable and then we already studied in chapter 9 itself tokens tokens are classified into five types keywords identifiers constants operators and punctuators so at the time itself we studied variables identifiers are also called as variables identifiers are also called as variables so these variables are one of the basic building block it is an essential one in the c++ program without variables uh, we cannot uh, create uh, programs we cannot store the data in c++ so they are the building blocks of the c++ then a single variable is used to store a single value and then that can be used anywhere in the memory that can be that can be stored anywhere in the memory we can say like that so a single variable a variable can hold only one value at any point of time we already studied this point also in previous chapters we studied that at any point of time or at any cost or, or at any cost a variable can hold only one value is it right or not we might have studied you just remember you recall the chapter 9 then you can remember so a single variable can hold only single value at any point of time we can say that and then it will be stored in the memory in anywhere else we cannot say that it is stored in this particular place right we cannot uh, go for an assumption right can you understand students variables are used to store the data and then they they are the building blocks of the c++ program each and every variable can hold only one value now we are going for some other situation in some situations we need to store multiple values of the same type so we need to store multiple values in one particular variable is it possible no because a variable can hold only one value but some situations we need to assign more than one value for a particular variable so at the time what we used to do is we need to create multiple variables and then we can store multiple values of the same data type there is no problem see if i want to store Uh, the value 4 in a variable then i can store int a is equal to 4 if i want to store the value 4 in one variable then i can use the statement int a is equal to 4 so a is a integer variable and then it is assigned as 4 if i want to assign more than one value 4 5 6 3 values i want to assign then what i want to do int a is equal to 4 int b is equal to 5 int c is equal to 6 so like that i want to declare multiple variables i want to declare multiple variables to store the values to store the multiple data to store the multiple values or to store the multiple data of same data type so already we declared int a comma b comma c int a comma b comma c so a b c belongs to integer data type then we can give a equal to 4 b equal to 5 c equal to 6 like that we can assign can you understand students so for multiple values we need multiple variables all the values are stored randomly anywhere in the memory so this is the very important point already i told you 
we cannot go for an assumption we cannot say that this value is stored in this place this value is stored in this place we cannot say that it will be stored in a random manner it will be stored in a random manner it is not stored in a sequential manner it is stored in random manner can you understand students for example to store roll numbers of 100 students when i whenever i want to store the roll number of 100 students then how can i store 100 students roll number should be stored so it needs 100 variables named as roll number 1 that is roll 1 roll 2 roll 3 so it will be extended up to roll 100 if i need to store 100 values if i need to store 100 values then no other way what i want to do i want to create 100 variables whether it is an easy one it is not a easier one to create 100 variables and store the 100 values and then you cannot remember which value is stored in which variable can you understand students it is not possible to create 100 variables to store 100 values it is a tedious process it's a difficult process why because we can't remember which value is stored in which variable which value is stored in which variable it is very difficult for us it is <coughs> it becomes very difficult for us to declare 100 variables and store all the roll numbers we can't remember that which uh, roll number is stored in which uh, variable it is very difficult process so that's what they are saying <coughs> roll number 1 2 3 up to 100 it is not possible instead of that we are going for another concept called array. In C++, the concept of array helps to store multiple values in a single, in a single variable. So, this is how array was evolved. A variable can hold only one value, but we need multiple values to be stored. So, we want to create multiple variables. Instead of that, we developed a concept called, we introduced a concept called array. What is mean by array? Array means it is used to store multiple values. It is used to store multiple values in a single variable. So that is what they are saying. See here storing multiple values. That is storing multiple data in a single variable. What is the meaning of the word array? Simple words. In simply we can say that or else literally. The meaning of the word array is more than one. The meaning of the word array is more than one. See here they are saying in other words, array is an easy way of storing multiple values of the same type. The value should be of same type that are referenced by a common name. Can you understand students? In other words, array is an easy way of storing multiple values of the same data type referenced by a common name so one name is given and then it is used to store multiple values can you understand students <coughs> an array is also a derived data type in c++ so it belongs to derived data type because it comes from the fundamental data type it comes from the fundamental data type see the definition they are giving Array is a collection of variables that is of the same type that are referenced by a common name. So, common name is given to store the multiple values. And then the size of the array is, refer, uh, is referred to as its dimension. How can we specify the size of the array? The size of the array can be specified by the dimension. Dimension means square bracket. The size of the array is referred to as its dimension, that is square bracket. In simple words, I can say you, in mathematics you might have studied matrix. Have you studied matrix students? Yes, you might have studied matrix in lower classes. Matrix, you will, you will use the square, that is square brackets, you will use in a lengthier manner. It will be in a, uh, it will be, sorry, you might have studied in the lower classes. That is matrix. 
matrix is used to store one or more values matrix is used to store one or more values you will say you might have studied as it consists of rows and columns is it right or not it consists of rows and columns matrix is represented by m cross n is it right or not m cross n m represents the row and n represents the column see don't think that uh, why computer sir is teaching mathematics because here uh, our mathematics and uh, computer science subjects subject are more or less uh, linked together computer science subject and mathematics is more or less linked together see whatever you have studied you are studying in uh, mathematics somehow it is linked in computer see you might have studied as matrix but in computer it is given the name as array see matrix the elements the values are stored in rows and columns is it right or not in matrix the values or the elements are stored in rows and columns so here we are going to store one or more value in one variable so there also you are writing a of ij a of ij for example 3 cross 3 3 cross 3 means how many elements 3 cross 3 means how many elements students nine elements so totally nine values will be there is it right or not all the nine values are represented by one name what is that a of ij a of ij so like that here also multiple values are stored in one variable that are referenced by one common name that are referenced by one common name and then the size of the array that is how many elements how many elements we are going to store in the array that can be specified as size of the array it is represented by square bracket it is represented by square bracket how many values i am going to store in one particular variable it is represented as it is referred as dimension it is referred as dimension opening square bracket and closing square bracket can you understand students in an array values are stored in a fixed number of elements of the same data type that is sequentially in memory see uh, when you go for an ordinary variable the ordinary variable is used to store the value and then it will be stored in the memory in a random manner so you go for an ordinary variable the values are stored in a random manner but in array the values are stored in a sequential manner and then all the values are of same data type all the values are of same data type can you understand students if i go for an integer array if i take an integer array an integer array holds a sequence of integers so integer array means it should contain only integer values if i take a character array it should contain only characters if i take a floating point array then it will contain only the floating point values can you understand students a simple thing you remember that uh, you are studying computer science group is it right or not c1 c2 c3 c4 like that so you are studying say, computer science group means in your class whether any biology student is sitting in your class no so you are the values you are the values you are stored in one particular class you are stored in one particular class all the students belongs to same group computer science group so you are all same data type you are all belongs to same data type that is computer science no other uh, type of students are studying in your class no biology student is studying in your class right so like that you want to understand so integer array can is uh, sorry integer array can contain only integers integer numbers integer values a character array can hold only or can contain only the character values or sequence of characters can you understand students so i think you might have understood about array array means more than one whenever we want to store more than one value in single variable we are going for the concept called array right i hope you might have understood this video
so let's end the class so thank you students